Eric Anders is uh, slated to fight Roman Dolidze. Roman Dolidze used to be a great light heavyweight, but now he's fighting it. A smaller weight class as much as I know, right? Yeah, middleweight debut, he had middleweight debut, and he lost to Trevin Gill, then he outworked Lorana Stavropoli. Prior to that, he holds victories over Cadiz Ibrahim and John Allen, great wrestler, very offensive, the former WWFC light heavyweight champ. He knocked out Michael Pasternak, Heather De Souza, choked out Alexander Kobel, Remy Del Campe, Elias Abdullayev. His submission skills and grappling skills are simply out of this world, excellent fighter. Born Batumi, Georgia, fighting out of Odessa, Ukraine, 6 foot 2, 76 inches is his reach. Nine wins, uh, one loss. On the other side, Eric Anders is a real vet of this sport. He was a guest of my brown belt in BGG. 6 foot 1, 75 inches is his reach. So, no significant reach advantage. 14 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw, and 1 no contest for Eric Anders. Eric Anders fought two times against Darren Stewart. He won the anonymous decision. Prior to that, the fight was stopped due to a no contest. He lost to Shishtov Jotko, he also lost to Moretta Santos, the last to Doru Calvary three, but he knocked out Vinicius Moreira, Gerald Merchard, also knocked out Tim Williams. I uh, have to say also against Rafael Natal, he was better. Eric Anders has that knockout power, but his cardio might be an issue. Uh, we've seen him slowing down against uh, Jotko, we've seen him slowing down against Calvary Round 3, Elasto Doru also. But against Darren Stewart, he improved his cardio, he worked a lot on it. Eric Anders' specialty is a big left hand, as he said, he likes to box, and cage control. His cage control is one of the best I've ever seen. Of course, he comes from uh, NFL, which kind of comes normal. Against Leoto Machida, he also started to slow down, so Eric Anders is a very, very strong and talented fighter. And I think Roman Dolid is going to have a hard job to deal with. Dolidze is uh, better when it comes to submissions and uh, when it comes to wrestling, but, um, but I mean uh, wrestling uh, when you're not on the cage. When you're on the cage, Eric Anders is one of the best. Eric Anders hits harder, so this for me is going to be a very hard fight to predict. Roman Dolidze usually goes the distance. He is uh, very good with wrestling, very good with control, but also Eric Anders is good with that. So. In this fight, I um, think I'm going to go with over 2.5. I mean, the former Inugura LFA middleweight champ might really give a hard time to Roman Dolidze. Either over 2.5, either Dolidze to win. Um, uh, it's kind of hard for me to say Eric Anders to win, but I predict this is going to be a very close matchup. For me, a very, very close matchup. So, yeah, I'm going to say over 2.5 or maybe Dolidze to win.